Governor Greg Abbott following through with his promise of another special session. It starts this weekend. But Texas Democrats won't say whether they'll return to the Capitol on Saturday. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Houston explains what happens next and what it means for you. They landed in D.C. 24 days ago. Tonight, the immediate future of Texas politics hinges on whether Democrats board a plane back to Austin this weekend. Every day is critical, every day is fluid, but I think it's important to understand that, you know, people know what we have done in the past. Uh, and, I, and I think it's important to know that, that we are capable of repeating history. Legislators won't show their cards, but there's some speculation Senate Democrats could trade places with House lawmakers in D.C. They'll all have to return at some point this year to redraw the state's election maps. And if they wait much longer, about 2,100 Capitol workers' paychecks are at risk. That's because the governor vetoed their budget to punish Democrats in May. If it's not done in the next two weeks, those staff members will not get paid on September 1st. There may be a workaround for that problem, but it appears now Congress will have to take action to stop Texas Republicans from rolling back some voting options you used during the pandemic. The Democrats mostly had a weak hand and that's why they left and leaving didn't really improve their, their odds or their chances. If they return for the second special session, lawmakers will also now debate how to spend federal coronavirus aid and whether schools should ever be allowed to require masks. Matt, what else is the governor asking lawmakers to address this session? Deborah, in addition to the voting bill, the governor wants to ensure that every school district offers an in-person learning option when the school year starts this fall. Uh, border security, critical race theory, and a transgender ban in high school athletics are all on the docket. It's a long agenda, which is why lawmakers will have to come back for another special session later in the year just to handle redistricting. I'm Matt Houston, KINS 5 Eyewitness News.